good, good father. Yes. That's who you are. Who you are. And I'm loved by you. That's who I am. That's who I am. That's who I Oh
fire. The power that will hold no weapon. Be released, be released, be released, be released. Every infection, Lord, all over me. In the wounds, Lord. In the wounds, Lord. Let it be like balm, God. Let it be like the balm of Gilead, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Let it cleanse, Lord. Lord, wash away the pain, God. Let there be a healing process, God, on the inside of your people. Down deep, Lord God. 
Go down to the marrows of their bones, God. Lord, deliver us right now. Deliver us right now, God. From the bands of the enemy right now. God, so begin to just praise him right now for breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. When you begin to praise him. He's releasing the oil. Deep down in your soul. freedom of God. I feel God's freedom in this place. Oh, come on, release God's freedom in this place. Oh, yes, the freedom of God is in this place. Oh, yes, God, I thank you for the freedom, Lord God. Lord, I give you praise, give you praise, give you praise, God. Oh, come on and shout, Jesus. Come on and shout, Jesus. Come on, shout, Jesus. Oh, come on and lay away every weight and sin that so easily beset you. Come on and lift your hands in the air and give God a hallelujah. Give God a hallelujah. Oh, he can lift you down deep. Come on and come on and release it. He can lift you. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Oh, we tell you, give you beauty for your ashes. Huh? Where is the will? Oh, after you've been through crying, here comes the glory of God. After you've been through feeling sad about what you're going through. Here comes God's beauty. Yeah. He come, he come, he come. Ha. Yes. See us, Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, yeah, no, 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 shot, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, you will not do the same way again. You will not let the same situation get you in prison again. You made a decision right now to come out of that jail. You make it. Come on, come on out of that place. Either you want to stand or you want to sit. Hallelujah, come on and stand and give God the praise. I mean, stand up in the spirit. Stand up in the spirit. Stand up in the spirit, yeah. Come on, stand up in the spirit. 
dry your tears. Let it be the tears of joy that you made it through. That you're making it through. That you're making it through. Come on and bless God. Give God some glory and make the devil out the liar. Oh, no pity party. No pity party. Smack your hand and say, No pity party. No pity party. Oh. No pity party. What was up? The Holy Ghost don't stop. What's the name of this song? Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop hey. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop oh, oh. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop Woo. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop hey. There ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party The Holy Ghost party don't stop Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop So you might as well praise Him Praise Him Praise Him Praise Him Praise Him Praise Him Ain't no pity in the house of God So you might as well give Him praise Ain't no pity in the world of God So you might as well give Him praise Shake, shake, shake the devil on shake, shake, shake the devil. There ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no place for no pity party. You might as well come and give me praise. Come on and praise, oh God, He is worthy to be praised. Come on, there ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Like a Holy Ghost party don't stop Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party Like a Holy Ghost party Well I will praise Him Magnify His name Praise Him Magnify His name Praise Him Magnify His name, praise him. Magnify his name Cause there ain't no party Like a Holy Ghost party The Holy Ghost party don't stop There ain't no party Like a Holy Ghost party The Holy Ghost party don't stop Ain't no party Like a Holy Ghost party Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop We might as well praise him Praise him Come on and praise Him. Come on and praise Him. Oh, God, ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Step on the devil's head. 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 Cause there ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. The Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. The Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. Cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Hey!
One more time. Come on, say. Praise Him. Somebody want to give up. And your prayers may stop the enemy from attacking that person. Come on and bless God. Get out of your soul. And get in the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. You are your brother's keeper. Tell your devil, say no. I will not let you have him. yourself and concentrate on God. God don't allow nothing that he can't handle. God can handle whatever it is that's got you down. He can handle it. How many you know that God can handle it? Give God a praise right there. If you know God can handle it, all, all you going to keep on trying to handle it. Worrying is not going to make it happen. When you doing well and you're well doing, he said, be not weary in well doing. When you done done all you know you can do and it still seems to go left, 
You stay on the right. You keep on praying. You don't want to let him out. You don't want to do your part. Until you do your part, then God can do what he's going to do. Hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. God want to do it. God's going to do it. I've come through the fire and I've been through the flood. I've been broken into pieces. See lightning flashing from above. But through all, I remember that he loves me and he cares. And he never put more on me than I can bear. Sing that one more time. I've been broken. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've come. Come on, sing the words. Through the fire. And I've been through the flood. I've been broken into pieces. See lightning flashing from above, but through all, I remember. So just remember that He loves me and He cares, and He never put more on me than I. And he never, and he never put more on me than I can bear. So never, never. Touch her, touch her, touch her. 
I, I love, said, Lord, I'm not going to let the devil take you. Say, uh-uh. I, I never. Say, I'm not going to let you stay in that place of pity. I'm not going to let you stay there. Uh-uh. Yeah. Long as I got Jesus on my side, I can't let you die like that. Yeah. I got a time it's going to be all right. It's going to be a time that it's a yeah. So when you know what God can do, yeah. so you're not afraid to say, uh-uh. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Say, never. God will never put more on me than I can do. Come on, bless God. See, see that's, that's inspiration to me. That gives me confidence that my weeping may endure. But God is trying to make me. He's trying to mature me. So dry these wicked eyes. And put a pep back in your step. Get your zeal back for God. Take it back. Because the enemy trying to steal your faith. He's trying to deter your steps. But the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. If God wanted you to go around this test, He wouldn't have left you through this test. But He knew that He was going to bring you out on the other side. And you're going to be better. You're not going to be bitter. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm going to be better. I'm not going to be bitter. Come on, one more time. Say, I'm going to be better. I'm not going to be bitter. Oh, yeah. Come on, shout. Give God a hand cut, please. Oh, yes. Come on, he deserves, he deserves to be praised. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. Come on and bless him in this place. Come on, somebody. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord has a way of shifting your paradigm, so to speak, when you're challenged to feel a certain way about a certain thing. Amen. But the Holy Ghost won't let you feel that way. Amen. Hold on, somebody. Anybody feel with the Holy Ghost? When the Spirit of the Lord is dwelling on the inside, sometimes we entertain the thought of giving up and sitting down and quitting and letting it all go. Amen. But how y'all know, how many y'all understand that the Spirit of the Lord will come back and resurrect some things? Amen. He will cause you to look up where you're standing. Amen. And help you to forget about what you've done. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. We honor the Spirit of the Lord this morning, and I thank God for all that He's doing. Amen. That's a prophetic word for you. How many of y'all been wanting to feel better? Amen. Come on. Lift your hand. But sometimes you got to decree a thing to your own situation. 
Amen. I'm going to be better, not better. Amen. Hello, someone. Amen. You have to speak to your own storm. He gave you the ability to do that. Amen. Is he not the God that called for things to be done? Is that the Did he not give you that same power, that same ability? Amen. In Psalm 34, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And we can just stop right there. You ain't got to read the rest of it. Because if you make up your mind, no matter what you're confronted with, then I'm going to give God glory. Amen. I'm going to give him praise. Hello, somebody. Amen. I'm not going to stop my pursuit. Because his love toward me is a perfect love. Amen. His love is fervent. His love is never ending. Amen. He loves me that much. He's committed to me. Amen. And sometimes we go through bitter storms. We go through things that apparently it seems like we can't handle. Amen. It's too much for us. But help me all understand there's something that you need to learn from that situation. Praise God. So when you find yourself in the midst of a heated battle, don't look at what you're battling with. Amen. Look to the one that can take you through the battle. Amen. And decree and declare, God, I might be going through right now, amen, but I know that if I keep my eyes set on you, I'm coming out of this thing, amen. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Anybody want to come out? Anybody want to embrace victory? Come on, victory is already yours. Hallelujah. Glory to God, amen. It's Father's Day. How many fathers in the house of one? Come on, Father, let me hear you make some noise in here. Uh, Y'all ain't got no more in there. Come on, Father, let me hear you make the place shake in here. Uh, I don't know the way Sister Jackie holding her baby and looking at that baby we were. Uh, she got something on her mind, amen. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, amen. Baby coming under you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a great day in the Lord, amen. Great day in the Lord. Amen. I'm honored to be a father. I really am. Not only a natural father, but a spiritual father. It's a privilege and honor, man, just to, for someone to say, I love you, Dad, or I appreciate you, a pastor. Thank God that you're my spiritual father, and, you know, I thank God for you, or whatever. Amen. And this is a world of every one of us that are fathers. There are other people, there are other young men in the ministry, young women in the ministry that don't have fathers that are trying to serve God. I mean, they don't have someone that, somebody they can look up to. Praise God. And you have to encourage, and you have to be mindful that everyone's watching you, right now. Praise God. They're watching you. I like, I like, I like the scripture that she used, and I'm going to get out of the way because... I, I, I know Pastor Deeds has a word for us this morning, amen, and I'm not going to tell it too long. Praise God, but listen, you know, you need to think about that. And no matter where you've been, Brother Corey, no matter what you've done, Brother Greg, amen, Brother Bible, no matter what situation you find yourself wrapped up in, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Amen. That's good in every man. I believe that. But it takes God to draw the good out. Amen. No matter uh, 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 what level of mistakes that you made. But when a man connects with Jesus, only then can it truly be good. Only then can God really get the glory. Amen. Anybody ever crack them up? Them Brazil, man, something hard to crack, ain't them? And you get that, that little piece of goodie be down in the corner and you're trying to get it out. Well, see, it takes a relationship with the Lord to crack a man so he can get the good out. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, man. So there's a good inside of me. And all I got to do is allow the Lord to crack me. Come on, if you want God to crack you, you want to shout in this place. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. I don't know where that stuff is coming from. It could be. <laughs> The good in the middle. All you gotta do is let the Lord crack you, amen. Because sometimes we get some hard and heavy rascals. Come on now, hello, someone. I don't lose your winning, y'all hard and heavy too. Come on. Hallelujah! Uh, 
Uh, if you agree with that statement, come on and say hallelujah. Amen. We want some rebellious people, amen. But we are the righteousness of God. And I honor the Lord for what he's doing in everyone's life. Amen. Y'all ready for this word? No matter how long, or how beautiful it is, I don't know how long she's going to be here. Amen. And we're going to let her answer the same thing. Amen. Come on, I need you to stand on your feet this morning. Come on, everybody stand. Listen. I understand that we all work. Everybody stand. Obedience is going to sacrifice. We all work. We all get tired. Amen. But when you come into the house of the Lord, you come in here to get strengthened. And your posture says a lot about who you really are. Amen. And I've been I, I've been observing some stuff this morning. Amen. That's my job. I'm supposed to observe the sheep and see where they're at. Amen. Checking out the postures and all this kind of good stuff. And no one can make you serve God. But I'm trying to tell you, ain't no better benefit than serving God. No one has any greater challenges than that, dude. We all got them. Amen. Your challenge is horrific to you, amen. My challenge is horrific to me, amen. We all got them. But the fact of the matter is, no matter how much the enemy comes in and try to convince me that it ain't worth it, I hear the voice of the shepherd. You understand what I'm saying? This voice will I follow. My sheep hear my voice, amen. And it's strange that it will not find. No matter what the devil whispers, I ain't going, uh uh, I'm not going that way. Because I know who I am in him, amen. And I'm grateful for what God has done in me, amen. Praise God. You know, you're willing to follow the voice of the shepherd. Come on, stretch your hands toward Pastor Dees, amen. Say, Pastor Dees, we know that the voice of the shepherd rests inside of you. And our spirits are open. And our hearts are ready to receive and to hear that voice that's going to speak to us. Give us everything that the Lord has given you. And we gladly receive in Jesus' name. Somebody get excited about the woman of God. Get ready to bring the word of God. Come on, give God a shout in here. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And happy Father's Day unto you all. Amen. I was thinking about the greatest father of all. I didn't have much experience with my earthly father, but I'm telling you, I had some awesome experience with my heavenly father. Amen. That's good. That's good. Amen. I just thank God for being here today. Went through some kind of battle this morning. I don't understand it, but God knows all. Amen. Let us pray. Father, our creator, our loving God, who knows all, who knows everything. Lord God, we ask that you infuse us with your word and your spirit. Enlighten us. Embody us. Oh, hallelujah. Do it, Jesus. Lord God, this is your time. Lord God, I decrease. Oh, Father, that you might increase. Lord God, because I don't have the answer. I'm just here in your word and upon your request. God, I give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, so let it be. Amen. 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 Our first scripture is taken from Isaiah 44. Y'all don't mind if I take my time, right? It won't be too long, I promise. <laughs> Isaiah 44. And the topic is I am. I am. 44, 1 through 6. It says, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus said the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, 
and thy Jerusalem, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Are you thirsty this morning? I'm thirsty. And floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessings upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And so name himself by the name of Israel. I want you to say, I am. I am. I am. I am. Amen. That's powerful, isn't it? Does it feel powerful to say that I am? Amen. I am. Amen. It said, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, and besides me there is no God. And who, as I shall call, and shall declare it? Who, and who, as I sh shall call and declare it? Who shall declare it? Amen. That's powerful. And set in all, it in order for me. And since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming, and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witness. And there is a God. There is a God beside me. Yea, there is no God. I know not any. Amen. I am. That says a lot. You can go a lot of places with that statement. I am. Amen. Second, First Peter 2 and 9. and nine. I can find it. Oh, yes. First Peter 2 and 9. Okay. It reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye shall show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people. We were not a people. But are now the people of God, which have not which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Amen. Things have changed. Amen. We are privileged now. We are of the royal priesthood. Amen. And now we can say, I am. Amen. God said that he is the only God. And because he is God and he has called us into royalty, that means that we have the privileges of a priest or princess. Amen. We have those royal privileges. And he's looking for someone to declare it. Amen. Are you willing to declare it today? I am. I am. I am. Next time the Satan start telling you who you aren't, you better say, I am. I am. I am. When they say you're not, I am. Amen. I feel good saying that. I don't know about you. It's waking something up inside. I am the righteousness of God. Next time they tell you you're not anything, that you'll never be anything, just give them a reply. I am the righteousness of God. Amen. We have special privileges because we are the king's child. And the, the bottom line was declare it. Declare it. Because you are the king's child, you have a right to declare it. 
Amen. Hallelujah. I feel the Spirit of God right now. Hallelujah. Uh, Titus 2, 11 and 15. You can declare a thing. You can decree a thing. Because he gave us privileges. We were engrafted to be his children. And he's the king of kings. And now we belong unto him. We were not a people. But now we are his people. Amen. We were engrafted in. We were Gentiles. But now we are the spiritual Israel. Amen. We have the same privileges as God's other people. Amen. That's an awesome thing, isn't it? Titus. Titus. I am the righteousness of God. I am. I Like the man said, who was it? Jesse Jackman said, I am somebody. You better tell him, I am somebody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He's affirming it. Okay, Titus 2, 11. It said, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath, a, hath appeared to all men. Oh, hallelujah. It says, Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly, and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and that glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good work and that word peculiar means special special you know we battle so much with the enemy telling us that we are nothing we are nobody and it causes us to look at the situation that we're in it's like he makes so much noise and try to get you to forget who you are amen it's about like a, you know anytime you see two boxes two boxers getting ready to fight they tend to when I'm tend to uh, talk about what he's going to do, how he's going to take him down in the first round, it's going to be a knockout. And you know, he's just intimidating. But the fight hasn't started yet. But there's an intimidation going on. He's working it up. He's working your fear up. Fear for you to fail. But you better say, I am. I am. I declare it. Hallelujah. I declare it. Amen. Okay, we're going to go to Job, the 22nd. I was reading in Job this morning. I believe that God asked him, did you command your morning? <laughs> Did you command your morning? Amen. I was impressed with that. Okay, Job the 22nd. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him. And he shall hear thee. And thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing. God is looking for somebody that's ready to decree. God is looking for somebody to declare. The scripture said in Psalm, it said, The heavens declare the glory of God. The heaven is declaring it. Now God is looking for somebody on earth to declare it and to decree it. Because as of right now, a lot of us don't know who we are. So we don't declare it. 
we get scared and we're nervous and insecure but God is saying he's looking for somebody to declare it to decree it because you are the king's child you are the king's kid amen and you can declare a thing and you can decree it because you have been given the rights and the privilege to do it amen amen i love that amen it said 20 let me say that again thou shall also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways when men are cast down then thou shalt say there is lifting up and he shall save the humble person he shall deliver the the isle, inlands, islands of the innocent and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hand amen decree let us look at this word the definition of decree an official order command issued by a king or other persons of authority amen you have been given authority because christ has given you authority but this is what's happening right now. Fear is causing us to back up. Fear is causing us to forget who we are. We're going to have to stand up in this time and say that I am. I am because God said it. Aren't we? Don't we belong to him? Well, we better start speaking it. I am. Amen. You shall declare it amen let us talk about this dominion because he has given us dominion raise your hand up like that and say dominion Woo, don't that feel good dominion next time you start having a bad day said he has given me dominion amen dominion means oh hallelujah ruling over things you can speak it what are you declaring over your life right now what are you declaring power do it again dominion amen i want you to say it till it get down in you so whenever you that problem come to you this week you're gonna say dominion <laughs> I love that. Amen. What are you declaring over your life? Are you declaring what other people are saying about you? Are you declaring what God is saying about you? What does he say about you? He said you are victorious. He said you are victorious. But first we got to get it in our mind and our spirit. Amen. So we are beaten down by the voice of the enemy. Decree your solution. Decree your solution, not what you see. Amen. There was something that happened to me uh, when I went to Massachusetts a couple of years ago. My brother-in-law was driving like a maniac. <laughs> and, it, and it shook us up quite a bit. But when I got to Massachusetts two days later, I began to shake on the inside. And when I got home, everything that the doctor said that was wrong with me it started showing up amen and god took me in a dream where there was a sheep lying around and there was two dogs watching over the sheep and one of the dogs came to me and for me to pet him on his head and he was raw from his neck down and the other dog was fully haired when I came out of the dream, God said, don't pet the diseases because I pet the raw dog. He said, don't pet the diseases. And sometimes when we get older, we have a habit of talking about ailments. Oh, I got this bad knee. Oh, I got this bad back. Ah, you know, and that'd be the whole conversation. I got to get my appendix out. Uh, well, how are you doing? Oh, this happened. That's what well, God is saying this morning. We got to take dominion. 
we're going to have to start declaring and decreeing a thing. Because I'm in this message. You know God wouldn't give me anything that didn't shake me up. That didn't make me look at myself. What are you declaring over your life today? Do not declare what you see. But declare what God says. Okay, let's go to Hebrew 4. What are you declaring over your life? Are you declaring failure? I, I, I'm just no, nothing. I, I can't do this. I, 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 I can't. I, 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 you better stand up. Amen. And say so. Let the people of God say so. 14 and 16. It said, Seeing then that we have a great high priest, that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. And I hear we better hold fast our confession as well. Because we profess, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. But today God wants you to learn to declare it. Amen. And speak it. I am. Amen. He said instead of being the victim, what should we say? I am the victor. Amen. I'm going to take the spoils. Everything that was taken from me, my peace, my joy, my happiness, I'm taking it back because I got dominion. Amen. I'm taking it back. No more am I going to be in the corner trembling, afraid, but I'm taking dominion. Amen. Because I am because he said that who will declare it that it may be established in the earth when he said thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven we're going to be the one that's going to speak it in the earth he's he's waiting for you to declare it in the earth amen i hear a sound right now i hear a sound Ooh, it's loud. I hear a sound. We're going to declare it in the earth. Y'all stand and give God a praise. I hear a sound. Woo! I hear a sound. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. I hear a sound. It's coming from above. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I heard it. It sounded like an orchestra. Whoa, Lord Jesus. Woo, he said declare it in the earth. Amen, who will declare it in the earth? Amen, but first, before you can declare it, you need to find out who you are. And the only way you can find out who you are is to seek God and seek him through his word. He will tell you who you are. Because a lot of us don't know because we don't take time to know. And you know, I, I can say that God will validate you. And then he will vindicate you. Amen. He's an all-around man. He meets every need. Amen. Decree your solution. Not, not what you think should be. And sometimes we don't know our own strength. See, God is trying to get you to realize your strength. He's trying to get you to realize who you are. Amen. And I, I want to tell you a little story about the strength factor. When I was younger, I was a very timid little girl. I was scared all the time. If somebody could say, boo, I would jump. And when people, when other young people curse at me, I was even more terrified. 
I was terrified because don't let them curse at me. Just shaking. And one day, I got in a fight. And I didn't know my own strength. But see, sometimes God has to get us in a fight for us to realize our strength. Because we don't know our own strength. We, we're backed up in the wrong. You back somebody up in the wrong, they're going to find out what kind of strength you got. <laughs> Amen. I did not know my own strength. I didn't know that God blessed me with extra testosterone. Y'all know what that is, right? That's extra male hormones. I, I had a lot of it in me, and I, I did not know. But honey, those girls got beaten to a smithereens because they should have never let me know that I had strength. Because see, God has to do that to us sometimes so that we can find out who we are because as long as we're being pumped down, we're, we're scared and, and the enemy is beating us. <laughs> but we got to come out. We got to come out fighting with full strength. Amen. I, one time I said, Lord, was I meant to be a man? I cut down 20 trees in one day and cut them up and went out there and tilled the garden. And then I took the hand sling blade and cut the grass. I did it all. Human dynamo. But I found my strength. But see, I had to be pushed into a corner before I found out that I had the super strength. Amen. That's a lot of us right now. We don't know our own strength. We don't know that we got the strength to quit. We got the strength to quit. We just got to get it in our mind, in our heart. But the word is going to help us get it in our mind. I am victorious. It's not what I see, but it's what I don't see that God is saying. We want to establish you. He wants to make you. He already made you his people when you accepted him. But he wants you to show forth his glory. He wants you to say, I am. I am. Woo, I feel good saying that. I am. <laughs> Amen. We don't know our own strength. But I just shared that with you. That's a true story. Pastor said one day, it was real funny. He said, I'm sure I'm glad God saved you. <laughs> because I found out my own strength. He was afraid for the male gender. <laughs> it said, many times we sabotage ourselves. We sabotage our own self because of what we went through when we were younger or what people are saying about us. We need to stop accepting what people are saying about us. And we need to stop internalizing what they are saying. Well, what does God say about you? That's what's important. If he said that you are the apple of my eye, even though other people look down on you, they think you're a weakling, but they don't know your strength. You're not showboating it. But let the enemy push you in a corner. You'll come out fighting with all strength. Amen. It says, speak good things over your life. See, the power of life and death lies in our tongue. Our words carry power. So I'm beginning to practice speaking good things because we can kind of sabotage our own self. We can sabotage our own destiny. Okay, speak good things over your life. Amen. Psalm 8, 118, 17. I'm not going to go to it. I wrote it down. Next time, say them tell you you're going to die. You, this, you should say Psalm 118 and 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I am declaring today that God is bigger than any illness, any infirmities. Instead of being the victim, become the victor. 
So when others say unkind things about us, it hurts. It hurts, even whether it's true or a lie. It hurts. You know that saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt? That's not so. Words carry power. And sometimes we internalize what people are saying about us. So what do they say? Why do they say that about me? Sometimes we'll stay up all day thinking about what somebody said about us. We, we meditate on it. Why do they say that about me? That's not true. But change your mindset and think about what God is saying about you. It said, now, how, it's very tempting to get up on the phone and start calling all your friends. You know, this person said such and such a thing about me. Sometimes before we jump the gun, we need to give it to God. Amen. I find myself sometimes talking too much. When I should have given it to God first. Sometimes we go all the way around looking for comfort, looking for peace in people. But we have the everlasting Father, and he wants you to choose him first. He wants you to stand up. God don't want us to be a weakling. He has given us dominion and power. He has given it to us. But we're looking at ourselves. But we need to look at ourselves through God's eyes. Start looking at yourself through his eyes. And we speak, we speak to too many negative things. Declare yourself blessed. I want you to say it. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Even if you don't have but five cents in your pocket. I'm blessed. Why? Because you're serving the king of kings. And he will reward you. He said he'll give it to you what you ask. I'm blessed. Declare yourself healed. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Philippians 4 and 6 and 7 and 8 talks about how we should see it. How we should think. Amen. You know, I, I um, remember the cancer report in the late 90s. And um, I told a friend, and they started crying and going on. I said, I've got to get away from them. Because I got to go somewhere and declare. Amen. I went for three days not talking to anyone. I said, I declare and decree that I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I speak those things aren't as though they were. I'm healed. And I said, by his stripes, I am healed. See, if you, if you don't have any words to speak, speak the word of God. You may be so beaten down until you can't pray. But start speaking the word of God. When you run out of words to say in a prayer, just start marching around, saying the word of God, speaking the word of God. Oh, he honors his words. He said that he hastened to perform his words, but he's looking for somebody in the earth to decree it and to declare it. Somebody to say that I am. Somebody stand up and say, I am the righteousness of God. I am victorious. I am healed. I am blessed. And I'm beautiful. Then Psalm 139, round 13 and 14, he said, I will praise thee, O Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Disease shall not dwell in this temple because this is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Fear shall not dwell in this temple. It may come, but it's only temple because I'm getting ready to uproot it up out of here. It shall not incubate. See, we incubate our failures. We need to release them to God and take on his newness, his new life. What he's saying about you. You need to start declaring what he's saying about you. Forget about what Satan has said about you. Forget about what your mother said about you. Forget about what your father said about you. Forget about what your sisters, your biological sisters and brothers said about you. Forget about it. 
think about what God is saying about you. Stick your chest out and say, I am the righteousness of God. I will not allow you to feed negativity in my spirit. This is not the day. This is not the day. I refuse to hear it. Try it. See if it don't work. Because the more we let people speak negativity in our life, this stuff take hold on our inside. We got to put up a wall. I said, mm-mm, not today. Start telling them who you are. Amen. I am. I am the righteousness of God. Amen. Let's go to Philippians 4, 6, 7, and 8. Philippians 4. Amen. Are y'all feeling better now? Amen. Is the word good? Amen. It's good to me. Hallelujah. I am. God already spoke it. I am. We're just waiting for you to speak it. He said, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, his word shall be established. But God will establish that what you speak. Amen. He's looking for someone to declare it and decree it. Amen. Because you're royalty. Amen. Four, six. It said, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, that means finally, after you done went through all of this and that. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, it's true that I belong to God. It's true. Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. So you got to start declaring, I am. I am. And I have dominion. And I'm taking dominion. I'm taking authority over this sickness. You know, many people look at me and they cannot believe it. I've been diagnosed with about 10 different illness. Guess who keeps me going? God. There was a study one time uh, that they did out in the world. They observed two sets of seniors. One set of seniors, yes, somehow they're doing, oh, I'm okay. Uh, this, this, that is wrong. Then the other said, how are you doing? I am excellent. Guess who lived the longest? I'm excellent because we speak it into existence because your word carry power. Don't forget that your words carry power. So we need to stop speaking negative things over our life and start speaking positive things. Amen. That is all, Pastor. Amen. Stand up. Stand up and say, I am. I am. I am. I'm victorious. I'm blessed. I'm rich. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we got time to go eat, right? Happy Father's Day. Your money's in the bank. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Come on, somebody give God praise. Amen. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. How about? Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. We're going to, we want to, y'all receive the word. Amen. We want to. Yeah, yeah, some of y'all just look so dreary. I'm telling you, it's like a spirit of dread up in there. All oh, the presence of the Lord and 
you know, all this word and this yeah. worship was awesome and yet and still at the end of it, some of y'all still look like you just done lost your best friend. It is, wow. You know, your countenance says a lot about what's going on with you. Amen. Anybody excited about what the Lord yeah. just did? Amen. Come on. Come on. Don't fake it now. Amen. Come on. You can't fake it. They take it maybe say you can't fake it. Amen. Come on. Come on, somebody. Amen. I am. Praise God. You have to you have to declare things unto yourself. And lots of times I'm by myself. I know the Lord is with me, but lots of times when I'm dealing with things, I just have to pray me and the Holy Spirit out to encourage me. Amen. I don't make a bunch of phone calls. You know, every now and then I'm led to call somebody and say, Will you come in agreement with me in prayer? Amen. But nine times out of ten, I just get with the Lord. Amen, and do what I need to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, how many fathers in here? How are you fathers? Amen. You fathers, come on down to the altar this morning. Come on. Amen. Praise God. All y'all fathers. Amen. We have sons and daughters, children. Amen. Amen. People that the Lord has called you to be an example to. Amen. Is that right, Dick? You know, there's one thing that that prides to me more than anything else. And we all have a sense of pride now. We don't go over the arrogance, but one thing is that prides me more than anything else is that my children can see that my life has changed. That I don't engage in the things that I used to engage in. I don't, I don't do the drinking and the drugging and the, and the running the streets and things like that any, any longer. Amen. Those things are dead. Amen. Come on, somebody. Thank you, I remember my oldest son, he had turned 19 or 19 or 20, and one day I was so drunk, one Sunday, I lit up a joint, let him hit it with me. And I got so convicted, I begged him. I cried and said, son, please forgive me. I never meant to do that. He said, Daddy, it's all right. It's all right. And I was lost. The sense of morals and values that my mother had, had put in me from a child coming up. You know, addiction had begun to darken those things. He was grown. I thought, well, he grown. I know he's smoking weed. He might as well smoke with me. And that was the wrong thing to do. It happened one time. And I begged him to forgive me never happen again you understand what I'm saying it's a privilege and an honor to be a dad to be a father no matter what your circumstances may be right now your situation you may not be in a position to do everything that you need to do for your children but do the very best that you can if it's nothing more than spending time with them pray for them continually amen pray keep them lifted in prayer you know if there's any breach in the relationship that you have with your children. Pray for God's wisdom that that breach can be reconciled. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Now some of my children called this morning and said Happy Father's Day. And a couple of them said they will be here. They're not here. But I'm okay with that. I know where the other ones are. Amen. But I pray for my children. I pray for them. And I do my very best to try to be the best example I can to them. You know, and not only this, those that, I, that I, I've had biologically, but those that the Lord has given me spiritually. See, the Lord has given me some spiritual siblings as well. These, these, these little young men and little boys that are running around here, they need somebody to look up to. And that's your responsibility as men. You know, a man is called. The Bible calls you the priest of your home. Everything that happens in your house, guess who God holds responsible? 
He holds you responsible. Amen? So let's be responsible men. Let's get into a relationship with Christ. Amen? I'm telling you. It's time for us to sell out and really connect. And God can God can restore and, and God can God can rekindle and God can build. Your men. Nothing against women, but who did God create first? He created you. Amen. You were created in the image and likeness of the Lord. Amen. And then you were lonely, so he gave you a woman. Amen. Come on, somebody. He did that. But he gave you authority. He gave you power. Like the man of God just said, he gave you dominion. And every believer gets that same power, authority, and dominion, regardless of gender. Men, stand up and be men. Be, what you, be where you're supposed to be. Do what you're supposed to do. Get involved. Amen? Your community needs you. The church needs you. And God knows our children need us. I just want to pray with you today. Amen? Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands. And somebody said in the office this morning, I didn't give you no flowers. Amen? But I'm going to come in agreement with you in prayer. Because I pray for you every day, every one of you guys. Every man that's a part of this ministry, you're in my prayer every day. Amen? Come on, lift your hands and pray, James. Lift your hands and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you for these great men that are standing before the altar this morning, God. And you know every inside situation, you know every circumstance, you know the weaknesses, the strengths. But Father, we, we thank you this morning, God, that no matter what has happened or what is going on in their lives, Father, that they're here today because of your grace and because of the power of your love. And I pray, God, that the word that was released today, God, will take a special meaning in the heart and mind of every man that is standing before this altar this morning, God. That they will come to a place of understanding and realizing that I am created them, I am sent them, I am called them. And I am has given them a responsibility to be an example to their children. Father, I prayed for the fulfillment of your blessings and promises that it rest upon them this morning. God, I pray, Lord, that they will come up in their thinking, God. That they will honor you in all that they do, Lord. And I pray, Father, that not only for their biological children, God, for any other children that they interact with in the ministry, in their community, in their jobs, God, I, I pray that they will encourage those children. They will understand and realize that someone's son is without a father. Someone's daughter is without a father. Someone is looking for someone that they can call father. And Lord, I just pray that you bless them right now, Lord. And whatever their circumstances are, whatever challenges that they may be faced with right now, God, whatever might not be what it needs to be, God, I pray that they will begin to trust and depend upon you, Lord. That things will shift and change in their lives. Help them to understand that it's through the relationship that you desire to have with them, God. Determines the capacity of ability, of wisdom and knowledge and understanding that they will receive as men of God. And I honor you for them, God. I bless you for them, Lord. And I personally come and honor and a privilege just to be a spiritual mentor and a spiritual father into the life of our women, Lord, that I can speak into their lives, God. If they will receive you through me, Lord. And we honor you for that. And we give you praise for them. And we thank you for allowing us to see another Father say. And we give you glory for every man that is in this house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Come on, woman, come on, congregation. Let's shout out for the fathers. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's one, one other thing that, that I need to do, and I want to, I, I need to do this. I need the, um, I need the intercessors to come. First lady, the intercessors and uh, elder deeds, and um, I need you to come. Um, Sister Jessica, I need you to come. Come here. Come on. 
Come on, you can let that play. Let's turn it down real low. Amen. Come on, I need, I need Jessica to stand right here. Stand right here. Let her stand right here. Amen.